Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode we are going to talk about the rain sensor or it is called the rain detector. Basically I'm gonna hook it up to the Arduino board. Then we will use this buzzer to activate a warning whenever we have rain outside. So in today's video you will need an Arduino board. You could also use the ESP32 microcontroller, it doesn't matter. And the rain detector which is separated into two parts. We have this pad that we put outside. As you can see, we have these traces. So whenever we have water, these lines will be connected because the water is conductive, which will increase the conductivity of this component and the resistance will go down and vice versa. If we don't have water, the resistance go up. And the second component, which is this module, We'll use this resistance and convert it into a voltage because we can't read the resistance from the Arduino board. We could only use the digital read command to read a voltage. And here's the circuit schematic. As I said, we have to connect the variable resistance to this module. The VCC will go to the 5 volt pin, the GND to the GND, and that power up this module. And it will use this resistance and convert it to a voltage from the digital output pin I'm gonna hook it up to the digital pin number 2 then we can use the digital read command to read 0 or 1 and check whether we have rain or not today I will not use the analog output but if you want you could hook it up to the analog pin A1 and read the voltage and finally we have this potentiometer that you could use to adjust the sensitivity of this sensor and once it's done you will see that we have this LED that turns on. That's because we have power at the module. By connecting the VCC to the VCC and the ground to the ground, I have used these female to female jumper wires to connect the pad to the module. And this module comes with a built-in LED that indicates whether we have water or not. And if I put some water on top of the sensor, you see it turns on. And if it's on all the time, you have to adjust this potentiometer by rotating it to the left side and if it's not raining you see it turns off now that we know that our sensor is working we can move on to the code and read the voltage from this pin first I will add a variable for our sensor pin using int sensor pin equals to then under the setup function I will add pin mode so this is an input device we have to pass in the pin, sensor pin, and the input keyword. For now, I will use the serial monitor to display the output voltage. So let's add serial dot begin with the baud rate 9600. Then under the loop function, I will use the digital read command, which takes the sensor pin and it outputs zero or one, which is an integer. And let's call it sensor data equals what this function returns and finally we can display it on the serial monitor using serial.println and if you don't know the loop function is called so fast maybe 30 times each second that's why I will add a little bit of delay to slow it down like one second which means 1000 milliseconds now we can give it a try of course we have to select the board for now I'm using an Arduino Uno and let's hit upload. Then we can open up the serial monitor from this icon. Make sure that you are using the same baud rate, which is 9600. And there you go, we have the value 1 because we don't have rain. And if I put a little bit of water, you see that it returns 0. Now we can check if the sensor data equals 0. We will turn the buzzer on. So let's take this buzzer. If you don't know, we have this positive lead which is the longer leg. I'm gonna connect it to one of the digital pins so that we can control it. And the shorter lead will go to the ground. Let's start by connecting the GND to the GND, like this pin. Then let's take another wire and connect the uh, positive lead to one of the digital pins, like the digital pin number three. And let's go back to the code. I will add another integer and call it buzzer pin which is number three. And in this case, it's an output device that we can turn on and off. Let's use pin mode, buzzer pin. 
and the output keyword. After that, we can move on to the loop function. Instead of writing this value on the serial monitor, let's add an if statement. So if the sensor data equals zero, we turn the buzzer on using digital write. We give it the buzzer pin this time and the high keyword, which means five volts, and that will activate the buzzer. Otherwise, using else, we will turn it off with the same command digital write. So I will just copy it and paste it under the else statement. Of course, we have to change the keyword high to low to turn it off. And that's pretty much it. So let's give our sketch a try by hitting upload. So by default, the buzzer is off because we don't have rain. And if it's raining outside, the buzzer turns on. So let's clean it again. And yep, it is working. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comments about this sensor or about this project, make sure to add it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.